quickly we can uh, review. Uh, so, the alternator the generates alternating power that is why it is called alternator. The other name for alternator is synchronized generator. There are uh, two type of alternator. So, according to construction wise there are two type of alternator rotating field stationary armature then rotating armature stationary field. Out of these two rotating field stationary armature is best. Then according to rotor there are two type of alternator one is saline pole alternator or projected pole alternator and another one is non saline pole alternator or smooth cylindrical alternator. In saline pole alternator is projected pole alternator. So, the air gap is not uniform. So, this type of alternator is suitable for low speed application. Then a non saline pole alternator is a uh, smooth cylindrical alternator, the air gap will be uniform. So, it, this may be suitable for high speed application. Then saline pole alternator produces more noises, mechanically weak compared to non saline pole alternator. Then we the next we discussed the EMF equation that is 4.44 kc kd phi f t phase. So, kc is the coil span factor, kd is the distribution factor. For concentrated winding the kd equal to 1, kc equal to 1 for full pitch winding. Then next we discussed the voltage regulation that is E phase minus V phase divided by V phase. Any alternator the terminal voltage supposed to be constant from no load to full load, but in practical case the alternator terminal voltage decreases. So, what are all the factors affecting the terminal voltage of the alternator? One is armature resistance, then armature leakage reactance, then armature reactants, uh, armature reaction reactants. Okay, this factor three factor affecting the terminal voltage. Okay, so uh, next one is armature reaction. In case of DC generator, the armature reaction only depends on the, the armature flux and the main flux. Whereas in uh, AC generator, the load also decides the decides the armature reaction. That means the load. If you use pure resistive load, it will give the cross magnetizing effect. Lagging power factor load gives the demagnetizing effect, leading power factor load gives the uh, magnetizing effect. Okay, so, these three uh, effects is important. Next, we developed the voltage equation of the alternator that is E phase vector equal to V phase plus Ia Zs. So, Zs is nothing but root of Ra square plus uh, Xs square, Xs is nothing but Xl plus Xar. So, this is the voltage equation. So, you have to different able to differentiate voltage equation and the EMF equation. So, EMF equation is 4.44 kc kd phi of t phase, this is the EMF equation. So, voltage equation uh, E phase equal to V phase plus I A Z s. Then uh, methods to determine the regulation. So, one is the direct method. So, direct method and another one is indirect method. So, direct method means actual load you have to directly connect with the alternator. So, this is uh, uh, accurate method, but this is not suitable for large rated alternator because if you assume 1000 ampere uh, current rating alternator or 2000 uh, uh, ampere current rating alternator, you cannot uh, provide such a huge uh, uh, load loading arrangement. So, this is not possible for large uh, alternator. So, in that uh, for large alternator, we will take the indirect method. Okay. 